So let's start to look how to use the reverse VLOOKUP using index and match in Excel. So if you look at this situation here, we have here a table with data, with category and an item. And then here we have an item. Now I would like to extract the category from it, which is in here. For that, we need to reverse the VLOOKUP and we're going to use the index and match for that. So let's start to work on the first one. We're going to get the index, which is basically the goal to get the column number. So when I click on the formula builder here, it pops up the argument and I need to select one of them. I'm going to select the upper one. And here I have to somehow press twice. Once I confirm that, I get here the formula builder. And you can see here the array. In this case, the array is the data that we have from our table. I'm going to select this. This is where we can find the answer. Now we need to have the row number. To figure out which row number it is, we can look at water and we know the row number of water would be one, two, three. Well, you can see here on the side, I already numbered them. So this is number five or row number five. Then we have the column number because I want to extract the category, which is in column number one. Once I did that, you can see here the result drink. Click on confirm. And once I did that, I will close this and it shows drink. However, if I change this to Kiwi, this will not change nicely. I need to readjust the formula again. And then in here for the row number, I need to save a Kiwi number two. Confirm that, there we are. However, this can be soft coded with the match function. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to type here equal sign, equal sign and then match. And then open parentheses. Let's click on the formula builder. So we have a nice visual. We have the lookup value. And the lookup value here will be the key V. Once I have the key V, and then we have here the lookup array. And the lookup array would be basically the column where I know the answer of the lookup value is in. So in this case, it is in column number two. Or no, not column number two, but column number C, the C column. And then here the match type will be zero, and zero indicates exact match. Once I did that, I'm going to click on done. And we can see here now Kiwi is in row number two. That is correct. If I say water, that's in row number five. So we have the logic working. So what I want to do now is I want to grab all of this, escape, go in here, and then I'm going to open again the formula builder. And in the row number, I'm going to paste all the code we just grabbed. Make sure you've removed the equal sign because you're not allowed to have an equal sign in the formula builder. Once you have it like this, the function will work nicely. Click on done to confirm it. Let's close the tab. And then in here, we can now select apple and it should be grabbing fruit. That is correct. If I say apple juice, enter, it will grab the category of juice and it knows it nicely. 